Hi, this is Abdul Aziz Khan with you after a very long time. Uh, basically, someone made a comment on my YouTube channel that he wanted to know something about the ATPC, uh, that how ATPC in the radio file is used. So, instead of replying him directly, I thought to make a video because generally I like that uh, uh, anyone can use the information so making a video is generally better for uh, everyone so um but going further uh, let me make it uh, a kind of uh, i will make it as three questions that i will try to answer in this video question number one is for very basic users because uh, i feel that a different type of people they watch my videos so for example if someone is uh, very new in the field and he even don't know that what is atpc and how it is generally used so um, for him i will start with defining uh, telling that what is atpc the second question that i will answer is that uh, what is the usage of ATPC in path loss? And the third question should be that uh, how path loss gets this value or how you should provide this value, I mean. So I will try to answer these uh, all three questions. So let's start from what is ATPC. So ATPC is automatic transmit power control. So by automatic transmit power control, what we want to say is that uh, when we enable ATPC on a link, the link will uh, not use the exact transmit power that you have provided in the link, but it will use a range of transmit power. For example, Generally, when we put ATPC, what we do is that we plan the link with maximum transmit power, regardless of anything, I mean. And then we give it a big range of ATPC dependent on our plan. That, okay, it can take ATPC of, for example, 10 dB or 20 dB or 6 dB or 5 dB or whatever. So what ATPC will do is that, for example, you put your link, then it will try to analyze the bit error rate which it is receiving. For example, if there is no bit error rate on the link, the link is working fine, then your link, it will automatically drop the transmit power. And it will keep it dropping until the point that it gets or it starts to get some bit error rate. At that time, it will maintain that value uh, just at the threshold, I mean, where it is not getting any error. So, in case of any deterioration on the link, in case of rain or in case of anything, it will take the power up. So, so it, I mean, when you start a link, when you put a link in, in working first it reduces the power and bring it to a very optimized value and then from that value it is started to increase the value based on the weather conditions for example it is started rain then it will increase the transmit power when the rain stops it will again decrease the transmit power so at an instant at an any specific instance Transmit power could have any value based on the weather condition or based on the condition that the link is going through. So, for example, if the link is working fine, then maybe it will not be working on your maximum transmit power, but it will be working on a very reduced transmit power. And when there is a rain, then it may be working on the maximum transmit power. So, this is what ATPC is. Uh, I mean, I hope this is clear, but if anyone is uh, having any still any question, 
then uh, he can also uh, make a comment and i can uh, guide him as well so inshallah so um, now let's see that the we should i think the question number one is kind of answered so let me go to the question number two now we know what is a tpc for example this is a link this link let me first uh, okay let me just check if this link is having no issue okay now this is a link uh, you can see that the link there's a transmit power of 21 and threshold of 72 and 39 is the received signal and thermal trade margin is 33 and trade trade margin is 33 so this is a normal link i mean this link you have planned and uh, this link is showing you all the kpis now how path loss uses the atpc value so the atpc value is put at this place for example if i want to say that the link should use 10 db of atpc value so i will update it here but you see that even i added 10 db of atpc on both sides of the link but the link kpis they do not change i mean it is still 21 it does not change it to 11 and it does not change anything else here everything remains the same so what it means is that for your normal kpis because path loss uh, let me try to be a bit of a bit detailed here um, generally i try to be very brief but uh, let me go in some detail basically path loss is not a dynamic tool i mean it does not take the actual value of your link from the network and it does not populate it here path loss is a kind of a static tool and this is good for planning as well i mean because if you are in uh, now this is for the people who are already working they have gone through some operations they know how operations work i mean you all know i mean if there are 10000 links in your network then 200 links are always fluctuating and uh, 500 odd links are always down and uh, 200 links there is always someone working on that link so assume if the path loss was trying to get actual data from the links then it will make your life more difficult i mean it will be always be updating the database it will always be changing the values and you will not be able to do anything so to help you for that path loss is basically a static tool most of the planning tools they are static i mean they don't use the actual values you put a value and uh, you analyze the link based on that ideal condition or the ideal value so for example if you have put a transmit power of 22 db if we go in this radio we can see that this is almost a maximum power of this radio this radio has the maximum power of 22 and it is being planned on 21 and it has a margin of 17 db almost so if you are planning to use atpc what you can do is that you can plan this link on the maximum power maximum transmit power and you can put a atpc range of 17 db here in this way you will ask your link to work in the most optimized place wherever it can work I mean. so <coughs> so um, as i was telling you that path loss don't use these values um, in uh, in getting these kpis but then where path loss uses these values i mean the second question comes that uh, then where it uses so it uses it in interference calculation i mean 
because here this is these are the best values i mean these are the values on which you plan your link but you know interference you need to do it on the worst type of value or you want because if you will for example if we plan this link uh, as i told you about how rtpc works so if we assume that it is a very nice weather and the link is working with the minimum most minimum power that it can work so path loss when it is calculating the interference it takes all the values at the most minimum possible values for example when it will calculate the interference for this specific link for that interference it will not use 21 db as the power it will use 21 minus 17 db uh, as the power or generally we don't give the whole uh, range for example i give it a range of 10 db only on both sides so it will use 21 minus 10 so it will be using 11 db for uh, this specific link for calculating interference only not for anything else for the normal working it will use the maximum transmit power so uh, why we use atpc so we use atpc in path loss for interference calculation only now if you have uh, uh, checked it there is one more thing here uh, because this is just with atpc so if you have guessed it then your guess is right i mean it has a link with atpc itself i mean this is called power reduction and we could we can put any value here we can put for example 3 db here now let me tell you that why or what is this and how it is used now what happens if you have been working with operations as well you know that whenever you put a new link and you do the atpc and then you hand over the link to operations you know there's always in in uh, uh, if you have been working in telecom field i mean there is always a very big gap between planning and operations i mean in some places where i have worked i mean even though they work very collaboratively but uh, they are kind of fighting with each other i mean so i make a link with 22 db power as soon as operation will hand it over because after they hand it over then it is out of my domain it goes in their domain what they will do is they will adjust the link on the spot i mean maybe just five minutes after handing over the link they will uh, change the values so because i mean it is not bad as well i mean because they actually know uh, that what is going on they are there are some reasons as well maybe there is some maintenance going on or there is something i mean they know more about the actual thing the planning team they work on on a higher level i mean they work from the bird eye view but the operation they are sitting in the in the root of uh, the network i mean so if you have a good relation with operations you can go and ask with them that what they normally do with your links i mean so they will tell you that generally when we take your link we reduce the power by 3 db or we reduce the power by 5 db because we know that there are some interferences which are not identifiable but as we know they are there so we reduce the power so what you can do is that you can add that power reduction here as well so in this way your plan should be very much near to the actual implementation because it is not possible that you can go to each and every link and you can get the values and you can do whatever i mean so this is a way that you can because you know the, the tool is as i told in the start the tool is not dynamic i mean the tool is a static but the tool has to take care of uh, two scenarios 
वन सीनेरियो इज अ नॉर्मल सीनेरियो वेयर यू प्लान द लिंक फॉर द वर्स्ट इफ यू रीड द वर्ड हेयर इवन द वर्ड इज मैंशन एज वेल वर्स्ट मंथ मल्टीपाथ सो यू प्लान द वैल्यूज विद द वर्स्ट थिंग सो यू प्लान द वैल्यू विद द हाइएस्ट पावर बट नाइन्टी नाइन परसेंट ऑफ द टाइम द लिंक इज नॉट वर्किंग इन द वर्स्ट द वर्स्ट थिंग हैपन्स इन द वर्स्ट टाइम ऑनली सो इंटरफेरेंस इज कैलकुलेटेड इन अ वेरी नॉर्मल कंडीशन वेन एवरी लिंक इज वर्किंग ऑन इट्स मिनिमम पावर and and normal kpis other kpis are calculated in the worst thing i mean when for example if you have a very high rain at that time how your link should be behaving so that is why it take care of both the scenarios i mean so that's why you provide three values here one is your transmit power which you put then your atpc range and then power reduction and path loss it uses Uh, that tx power in normal calculation and tx power minus atpc minus power reduction for interference analysis so i hope at this point two of the questions are answered so let's go to the third question that from where these values come i have answered this part of this question already i mean that generally like atpc value you put it from your own perspective the power reduction you take it from the operations team the atpc value could come from the radio file as well if you see this button this red color button it says add atpc from radio data file but usually whatever i have seen in the field i mean generally the radio files they don't have atpc values so uh, you cannot have uh, it from here so you have to put it by your specified say it is the option not specified in radio file so i hope that uh, i have uh, made three questions on this uh, and i have answered all of these three but still if uh, any one has any further question or any doubt or any clarification you can always comment on my videos and generally i will reply as soon as possible so see you in my some other video so